Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss Talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss Talk. Check it, check it, check it, man. It's a unique host. It's your boy, ECO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, my dad. Hey, on? man, it's going down today. Yes, sir. Man, I never would have thought it, man. God to drop one on you every now and then, man. And this man right here, man, uh, making noise, man. I, I seen a nigga on TV the other day. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Anytime you catch a nigga on TV, you got to talk to him. You know what I'm saying? I seen a nigga on TV right after he seen me. No, I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> but I was on that thing, right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, man, we've been on that television. Me and you got something in common, hey, nigga. Man. Save, man. My boy Camp is in the building. What it do, what it do, man. Hey, man, we, hey, man thank you for coming on the show, man. Hey, man thank you for having me. Man, bro. it's just a blessing, man. An honor and a pleasure to have you, yeah, man. Likewise, um, likewise. We just want to say, man, you know, uh, the music scene is crazy right now, huh? Everywhere. It's man, everywhere. it's everywhere, yeah. man. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you something. I'm so happy and amazed at all the talent that God is blessing us to be able to see and yeah, witness. Yeah, man. yeah. You know, um, so, um, Camp, man, what's up, man? Longview, Texas, huh? Longview, Texas, man, born and raised. Bro. Wow, yeah, man, where, where at down there? Oh, Martin Luther King, where you at? <laughs> nah, man, I was, I started over there off uh, of Marbley, man. We really grew up on Owens. Uh, anybody who knows 12th and all of that, they know Owens. We grew up over there and then spent a lot of my life uh, on Jewel Street, more so South Side. Jewel Street. Jewel, Jewel. 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 Yeah, South Side, man. South Side, Atlanta was it? What, yeah, yeah, was it, was it, how was it coming up in Longview, man? It was a lot of, hey, man, there was a lot of murdering down yeah, there. It's, yeah, it was yeah, a lot, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, man, I seen some things happen down there that spent out of control for uh, a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it yeah, seemed yeah. to, like, be out of control. Yeah, things almost, uh, Things things started going a little little sideways for a little bit, man. I think we we kind of snapped back into reality after a little while. But yeah, yeah it seems to be doing better yeah, now. Yeah, man. And, you know, it's growing up down there. You, it, it's, it, everybody kind of bases their next moves off of, off of off of what someone else is doing. It's really kind of hard to to find just the, the the leadership because you always really depend on the next person. Like you grow up looking at the, your OG or, or your, your best friend that turned dope dealer or some shit like that. So yeah. it'll become the domino effect unless somebody just stand out and create create a lane of of, of, of their own and hope yeah. that you can, you know what I'm saying, possibly inspire somebody else to go the opposite direction. Yeah. It. Probably why we, uh, you know what I'm saying, turn things around, you know, why we ain't really moving the way we used to. We went through that little era, but I think we snapping back. How, how much do you think COVID had to do with things slowing down? Yeah, COVID slowed a couple of things down, man. But I mean, as far as like working in, in corporate America, if you ask me, but as for the artists, street, something about they didn't slow down or they just oh, stayed. Shit. I I Atlanta stayed like out a lot. Yeah, you know? by the time COVID hit, I wasn't even really in tune with the streets no more, man. I had already found my own little position in the world. Yeah, you know mm. what I'm saying. So I wasn't as attached to the streets. During that COVID shit, man. I was just trying to figure out if there was any way I could get a show or some shit like that. You know? Yeah, yeah. That's so how long good. you been doing music? Uh, man, I started growing a, a liking for music when I was like nine years old. Who yeah. introduced uh, it to you? Of, of uh, my brother, man. If, if anybody from Longview know my brother, man, uh, you can't really mention me. Jayliss. Jayliss, the walking metaphor. Jayliss, you can't, you can't even. So he did music as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's a local legend. He just didn't. He, he, well, he's actually coming back into it right now. But, you know, he's the best kept secret. That was his alias for so long. Still is. Jayliss. So yeah, how much older is he than you? Seven years. Oh, so he's yeah. way you, older. You would think he was me, though, if you've seen him. We look, Y'all look so much alike. Yeah, we look like twins. Man. Wow, that's <laughs> dope. <laughs> For real. How do your mama feel about it? She's still around? Yeah, now? my mother's still around, man. She, 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 she's, she'll believe it when she sees it. You know okay. what I'm saying? She old oh, school. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. She's she she like, she go there and get a job. Yeah, 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 yeah of course. That's any mother, though, you know. But she like, she... She 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 ain't gonna ask no more questions when I get her that mansion. You know what I'm saying? It, mm. oh, it's gonna nice. be different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for yeah. real. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So that's always everybody's dream to you know. Gotta get mama a house. Yeah. 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 Gotta get daddy a truck and get mama a house. house. Man, yeah. Yeah. I like down. that. Daddy a truck and mama a house. Yeah. Yeah. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Mama you like need that? Mama get the house. Mama get the house. Yeah. Mama get mm -hmm. house. <laughs> man, so um, you know, uh, when did you first feel like okay, I got something in music? Um, shoot. This is something that's funny, but like 
it was when I started turning um turning hip hop songs into into R and B songs, man. Mm. Wow. Uh, <laughs> look, look, check it out. Bro. I was in I was in Foster Middle School, Southside, Longview, Texas, and Ti um might have been sixth, seventh grade. Ti had just dropped that lean with it. Rock, Rock with it. Can mm. you possibly make that into an R and B song, man? It's like you can't make that into a, a, mm. so I'm all, I'm walking around Foster like lean with it, rock with it, hey. lean with it, lean with it, lean with it, rock. With it. And then it's coming like up to me that. talking about, hey, sing lean with it, rock with it. I'm like, okay, Ooh. cool. I got my own version to this now. I'm like, okay, I'm different. Wow. And I started writing my own shit, just doing some wow more outside the box. That's and dope. that's what made you. That's what made you pursue that. Different singing that yeah, singing, but yeah. different alley than everybody jumping up and saying, I want to rap, I want to rap like yeah. this person, I want to rap like that person. Yeah. Because you are so unique in yourself, and I love the way how you captivated that. Yeah, exactly. You know what Thank I mean? You. Thank you. Because not everybody can, because sometimes people sit down, everybody wants to be different, yeah. but not everybody have it in them to be different. Because yeah. yeah. mm-hmm. it has to come to you, and you have to learn how to grasp it. Because I remember seeing Rihanna, and when Rihanna first came out, and some things that she would wear, and how she would act. And people were like, is that cute? And then after a while of wearing it so much, everybody's like, oh, I'm, that's nice. Yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's just, you have to grasp people's attention with being different. But after a while, people get used to you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so they you gotta, accept it. Yeah, you got to keep on being, that's the way I did it, though. Like, I was kind of thinking of, of that area. Like, first it stands out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It can be, why do you do that? Why is he doing like, oh, that ain't cool? And then think about it though. Skinny jeans, for instance. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Nobody really fuck you. Oh, you, you, you got on skinny jeans, man. You pin That's too girls. You flooding, That's man. girl Yeah, pants. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then now you got. Everybody wears. Some of the OGs pop locking out. They yeah, wear some yeah. skinny jeans. Yeah. Nigga, for yeah. real. Yeah. yeah. I shows. think because you can't find nothing else. You can't. I call the designers. All, the, <laughs> yeah. Being in the fashion world and being yeah. in where you see that they. That's all Everybody just yeah, trend yeah, toward what's trending the trade. Exactly. try to make sure they stay relevant exactly. so you don't have a lot of choice and you see it so much the power of suggestion just snaps exactly. you into place yeah. and position and when you were saying I ain't gonna wear them I ain't gonna wear them but your eyes it's so important what goes in the eye gate mm-hmm. and you don't realize it because it seems so just becoming yeah. because you're just looking yeah. but it's something to it uh when 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 you see the fruit and it was good, like like you say, like like he, he she seen that. the fruit yeah. and it was good mm-hmm. and she ate it. Yeah. It's about what goes in your eyes, mm-hmm. man. Yeah. So you you got to be careful what you put your eyes on. If you don't, if it's negative, yeah. be careful. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it stains your brain. I yeah, yeah, yeah. So like. It's like be careful the company you keep because you're looking at them. Yeah. You know, like exactly. But no, nah, man, you are very dope. Um, is there anyone else in your family who is um, outside of him that, and his brother? No, even your brother, because um, we don't know him yet. Mm-hmm. Who has that unique? Honestly, y'all y'all just ain't seen that. My son is is like I don't know what I don't even know what's got into my boy man, but like he's he's a year and some that's change. The elect- oh, that's the jam. That's oh, okay. jam. My son named Jam. He's a one of one. And, and he's year, one year old. He's, he's a year and some change, and like he he he's already singing. And, and wow. He don't even know how to talk yet, but he'll walk around the house. Really. I'm like, Hold on now. He, he moving and too he fast. And he can carry the tune. Uh, and he repeat. He heard music. He finna start doing this. He gonna do this. This is crazy. You gotta Wait. start them young. But other than my boy, though, you know my whole family does it. They really? Say, I grew up in a church, man. We so that, that's what it was. was, what, was what, was, what was that gospel song that you sang in church? Oh, oh, yo, come yo, on, give like, it to him. Give me a little like, bit of it. It was like, Come along, my friend. Come along, get aboard and ride this train. It is nothing on. This train to lose everything's to gain. Come along, my friend, my friend. Well, come along, get a boy. Boy, you tell him this is man. I love your voice. <laughs> he don't. Let me tell you, he I, don't. Am, I love she R&B. Love yeah, you know man. what I mean? So You're so talented, when, when, brother. When Thank you come you, in, man. you know, because... Why you never just started out in R B in the first place? Start now. Cause, cause I was um I think I think what the biggest difference between R and B and which is, which has been changed over time, but with R and B and and what I started, which was hip hop, is just uh, lyricism. You know, you can't really. I I've never really seen, but like I said, it's evolved over the past decade or so, but. I was always really. I graduated like in the top ten percent of my class. Wow. So I was always really 
vocal. I was ver uh, I like to use words. I I was I could write put a lot of words off in wow. one bar. You know and you write saying? everything that you do. Yeah, I write mm -hmm. everything, and um, I was really lyrical, and I didn't think that I could say what get my point across with slow notes and stuff like that until I found myself. I found mm -hmm. my sound to where I could actually say as much as I want to say and sound like me, not sound like nobody else. But I didn't start with R&B because I didn't want to hold the tune. I wanted to get a point across. You know yeah. See, yeah. I love when people, um, when people are very multi-talented like that where they can rap and then they throw in some R&B. They don't have to go get somebody to play that yeah, part, yeah, but yeah, they yeah. themselves can do that. It just made me just feel like, oh my God, they're so... Oh wow! You know <laughs> yeah, what I mean. Yeah. It, it it gives some jazz because R and B is cool, but when you put that mixture into it, yeah. that's why people go get features with somebody who can spice it up exactly. and make it different. Yeah, but yeah. when you can do all of that yourself, yourself yeah. that's amazing. Magic. It's magic. I, I, I love I love the way that um, that you're gifted, man. It's so it's so it's a blessing to be in an honor. You one of those ten that Trill Talk No Pill Talk was talking about. You one of those ten <laughs> out of East man. Texas that if they you come and you don't think you don't know and you don't know what you're yeah. about to get yourself into, yeah. you one of those ten. Yeah. And I'm telling you right now, you don't want to play with East Texas and the talent that it has. Yeah, you know, Houston it. got talent, Dallas got talent, but yeah. East Texas definitely we, has talent. We definitely ready. we ready. Yeah, you 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 you're something else, man. And I I, I definitely um I, I mean like I said, I'm from there. That's why it is this platform yeah. have, have showed mad love to East Texas ever yeah. since I started. You go we you go down that rabbit hole, yeah. you're gonna be like, man, he on yeah. there, he on there because yeah. I made it a point that I wanted to see Texas, just like Pimp C. I I, I, I shout Texas like UGK. Yeah. I want everybody to come together for Texas, yeah, man. For sure. And I'm not just saying, it, I, I, yeah, I'm from here. Mm -hmm. and, and and I love the fact of being from here. Mm -hmm. But but at the end of the day, I just feel like there has to be a togetherness yeah, here. Gotta be, and, yeah. and Texas is yeah. a big state, man. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and so I just want to see us come together. I want to see us make great music together. Mm -hmm. I want to see, I want to see East Texas collab with Dallas. I want to see yeah. Dallas collab with Houston, yeah. I want to see it all come together, yeah. man. And it's kind of happening like that because, shoot, a lot of people from East Texas are moving to Dallas, and then it's and moving it's to Houston. I'm moving to Houston. Yeah, you know what I'm saying it's changing that music scene. So, um, and I think it kind of really propane broke that barrier, really. Yeah, um, as far as like East yeah. Texas kind of jumping out the gate. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I, so salute to propane, man. I, I what about it. T Jones? He locked oh, up T. right Jones, now. Yeah, free my guy, man. Free yeah. T Jones, man. It was propane and T Jones, and then of course we got. Well, I think Poodle was originally from yeah. Houston, right? Yeah, but then he came out of East. Texas or whatever, but yeah, those guys are definitely putting on for the region in, in more ways than one. So I think, and I also feel like Houston ain't the only si uh, big city that can unify, man. And I, no, I, no, think, no, no, that, no. I think East Texas could do it as a whole. I think, as well. I, like I said, I don't. I guess you unify as one, but I don't even like that as much as I like the fact that everybody should be able to work together. We're yeah, so busy exactly. going and getting other people out of other states. Yeah, when you got a, so much talent in Texas, own, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you got a lot of talent yeah, here, brother. Yeah. I mean, and, and and you hadn't seen. Uh, uh, I, I may have to put my own budget up to put a Dallas and a and a, and a Houston and a East Texas artist on, on the, the same, same song because hey. it hadn't really been done. When you do so, that, I mean, yeah, yeah, you know what you. I'm saying because really? that's that's what I. <laughs> Won't. I want to see Texas come together. Yeah. Shout out Pimp C yeah. because that's the kind of talk he was, he was talking, talking about. Yeah. And then yeah. everybody, I think in that song they should put something about unity in that song, mm -hmm. showing that exactly. love. You know yeah. what I mean? Music working together. Purpose. Yeah, music with music with a purpose, man. Like a lot of these songs now are usually about the same thing. You know, like I don't want to collaborate with with three different icons from from three different big ass cities and we finna make another song about uh money clothes sex cars yeah. I, don't, I don't want to talk about that i want to talk about something with some substance and that's, put, that's put a little bit of flavor back into the music industry because it's really watered down yeah and see, we always you. talk about it we always talk about well I, I i personally love to talk about it the fact that these mics are very powerful. Mm. Being a musician is very powerful because people listen, kids, adults, everybody, yeah. listen to you. And they could be in a bad mood and because of what you're saying they could change or the tune, almost, the yeah. beat. Uh, yeah. I mean, it turns them in a happy spirit. Exactly. You know what I mean? Right on. Yeah. So why not use that power to, to, to do some good? Yeah. yeah. You know what? To, to give a message that means something. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. exactly. I, I just like the fact, Ben, um, just, just like I said, when I when I listened at your music, and I started to look back at what you've done, you already to me the stuff that I ran into showed you to me to be a crossover artist, automatically. Yeah. 
Like that's something that you've probably been hearing a lot. Yeah, they were telling me that before. I like, didn't even know what it was. Like, yeah, you was all yeah, like, like that. Like <laughs> I didn't know what it was. Like you, then. you basically, are, you, and it's a, it's a, it's a thing that's, it's beautiful because it's gonna transcend culture. Yeah. That's what's so beautiful yeah, about it. It's gonna be able to touch people mm -hmm. in every walk of life. Yeah. That's what it means to cross over. Yeah. You're able to touch people. And with what you just said mm -hmm. about the positivity, about having substance, mm -hmm. we know that you're, you're gonna permeate their ears with something oh, yeah. that can take them somewhere. Yeah, yeah. And that's important that's because we don't have that a lot anymore like we used to. Yeah. A lot of times we've backed off from giving substance and mm -hmm. talked about exactly. money, cars, clothes, hoes, yeah. you know what I'm saying, yeah. beating down the block. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, yeah. and I and, and I love that music because too. Say, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. Wait a minute. I love, I love that, that too. They say yeah. sex sells, and really, yep, yep. in when you look at the social media and look at how people chase clout and mm -hmm. negativity, and that's what everybody drafts to. I mean, they yeah. have the most amount of comments and the most amount of likes, and yeah. just people arguing. And that's what mm -hmm. people go off of because yeah. they want to get somewhere, mm -hmm. so to say. Yeah, I yeah. They base it. Uh, they base it heavily on sex and. And um, on, on, I think it's to, I think one of the reasons why, I think I know for a fact I can put this shit back into the music industry, but I think it's more of a, of a focal point on um, uh, the haves rather than the have nots. If people start talking more about the the position or the perspective of the have not, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then the music will come, 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 take a completely different turn. You know, I know this. I've watched it because I seen I studied this this music from people. Decades before the year I was born, like I would listen to to uh, Elvis Presley's stories and and and, and his music, and um, uh, I would listen to Ray Charles and look up his biographies mm -hmm. and stuff like that, just to just to see what the great what which one of these niggas uh, felt the way that I feel and how I can I relate this to uh, generations, uh, two three generations after the, after theirs or their existence. You know what I'm saying? Because their music is trans. I mean, people can mm -hmm. still play that right now exactly. and have a great exactly. time. Exactly, man. I can play some Elvis Presley. Mm -hmm. Make a make a make a hit record just listening to Elvis Presley. I probably, already. <laughs> that's what I do. I think every musician strive to have that record or records that the next five generations can still play. Yeah even after they're dead and gone yeah. and still can relate, still know who they are. I mean, yeah. like, I think that's one of the goals. Yeah. So, so when you, when you look at family, what does, what does family mean to you? Um, well, I mean, you, you, it's just, it's who, who you start with and who you finish with, regardless, bro. It's blood. It could, sometimes it ain't even just blood though. It's like, uh, when I see family, man, it's somebody that I'll never, I never turn my back on. I never neglect. I never question. Um, it's a it's a different love. It's an unconditional love, you know. Or with family, I, some things I would do for a, uh, I wouldn't do for a friend that I would do for a family member. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And that's a that's really see you. That's what you was talking about Ye uh, yesterday when you was on the phone with with Trill Talk, man. Talking, I asked them hard questions, man. How you gonna ask me that, bro? <laughs> <laughs> that's, very, that's, a, that's a you. No, can, I, I can't be vague with that question. Yeah, no, yeah. that's fine. You answer. Yeah, because we yeah, want you, you to answer you everything okay, and answer from that, your that, heart. Yeah, exactly. You know that's, because we want to portray the true I you. I've been asked that before. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 I like yeah. that question. I think, yeah. I think it's it's important. Yeah, I mean, because you got you got kids and 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 that's that's more important. If everything else fails. That's the only thing left standing. Exactly. You, you yeah. and God and your your family. Your family. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So that that that's a question that, I mean, hey man, you know, it's very important. Yeah, it, it's just not talked about as much as no, it should be. No, yeah. and that's what makes I think one. That's the <coughs> difference between good, good and great. Yeah. Right. Exactly. When you're able to tap into understanding self awareness, like you spoke exactly. of earlier, yeah. but understanding how to put it in a way to where people can hear what you sing about and mm -hmm. change, hear what you rap about yeah. and change. Whatever mm -hmm. you do, decide to do, because you're a multiple, you're a multi, you know, mm -hmm. type artist. You could do whatever, and I know that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's that's dope. So you'll be able to touch somebody and help somebody's family, man. Yeah, you man. know, um, <laughs> I, li dope. I like Kanye, <laughs> man. I ain't gonna lie yeah. to you. I'm a yeah. big Kanye fan because of, of the fact of, I know he stands for family. Mm -hmm. I know he loved mm -hmm. God. His mm -hmm. first song, Jesus, Jesus Walk, mm -hmm. you know, the one that popped early on mm -hmm. he always was the same Kanye mm -hmm. now he's just a billionaire Kanye yeah you know what I'm saying yeah. but but he always been Still dope icon, bro yeah, very yeah. dope icon that, man. man shout out to Jada Kiss that went off last night oh, 
Yes. Man, I had to post that thing, man. He was, he was I already to, know, he man. He's trying to tell us this for too no, long. No, no, no. When he dropped yeah, a wild to say the hottest shit, but yeah. he's selling the least. Well, man. Now they get, now they get it. Man, I, feel with my <laughs> wife, uh, when I met him, man, it was just... It was. She didn't know what I was so excited about. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, this Jada Kiss, yeah. nigga. You know, yeah. you know, I'm like, this Kiss of Death. You know, I'm yeah. like, yeah, nigga, I, I'm here. And everybody <laughs> from French Montana and all of them was there. But the main thing, Jewel Santana was there too. That mm-hmm. everybody was there. But yeah. it, man, Jada Kiss, man, come yeah, on, man. Yeah, Biggie yeah, even yeah. knew it. <laughs> you know it if you know music, bro. <laughs> You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, he he, he the one. He the one, man. Yeah. Like out of New York, I don't care. Yeah. You gonna pick Jay? I'm gonna pick Jada. Uh, ooh, that's yeah. heavy right there. Yeah, ooh. yeah, yeah, Because yeah, yeah. I know he gonna that's, bring it. That's deep too. Yeah, that's deep. <laughs> that's deep. But it, like sometimes, like people, they done looked over Jada Kiss for too damn long. I think, uh, I think now's a perfect time for him to come out because she, he was talking that talk that I'm trying to talk now. Way back then, when the music game was first getting corrupt, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And now he finally stepping back out. Like New York, here's your savior. Yeah, you know and, and I'm I telling you, it. like people would say Jay Z uh, lyrically. Uh, now I'm not talking about business, yeah. but you have, I, you know, you have a better argument with me about some fr- somebody from the South using Jada Kiss yeah. than you would a Jay Z. Yeah, because okay. I know that yeah. nigga bad. Yeah. You know, I, I'm just telling you, yeah, yeah, I know yeah, music. Yeah. I love music, and that's why we on the pictures together. That's yeah, why, because yeah. I cut for this dude. Like yeah. I, that's why, as soon as I seen it, I knew I'm like, it, it's Listen a problem. Even dead. though he in the locks, I know that nigga. Hey, he, 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 he gonna change the game yeah. if he get that mic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So, so uh, I wanna, uh, I, did you watch first? Did you watch it? Oh yeah, I watched. I watched some of it, man. I didn't watch. I didn't get to finish the entire thing, but I, got, I caught some of it. I just know that every time you right, every time he touched the mic, it's like he been holding this in for forever, bro. And I know he have, mm-hmm. bro. Yeah. So I feel like that nigga deserve everything coming his way. Right now, they just trying to eat him up with social media. I'm ready to see what record he finna come. Yeah, out he with. gonna break something yeah, behind this. That's something, what I'm excited about is. too. So like, I'm looking forward to it, man. Man, as soon as I hit my boy up, man, Junebug uh, from Cloud out in uh, uh, New York this this morning, he hit me right back when I posted that Jada and me. <laughs> and I posted, I was like, nigga, y'all don't even don't play with this one. Yeah, yeah. You know, man. Shout out to them boys out there. I got a lot of love for certain Big ones love. that I deal with yeah. that I know, you know what I'm saying, that mm-hmm. always been down for me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And 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 that's the real. Uh so let's get back I know to you. you. I know you um seem very in tune with who you are. Yeah. And you say you like to do your research, you know where you want to go and so forth. Um do you write down your goals as in where you want to go, where you see yourself? Um well, the thing is like I I really think it's weird because I I could write them down, but it's like I got goals that are based on longevity. Like, I don't really do the short term goal stuff too well. Um, I've always been like, shoot. Well, I, speaking of Kanye West, he uh, one of his lyrics was like, reach for the stars. So if you fall, you land on the cloud. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm already planning what I want to be doing in like 2024 right now. Yeah. And I got to, I focus more on my bucket list than on my, on my monthly or weekly agenda. You but even with that, um, one thing I always think about, if even if you're reaching for the stars, you mm-hmm. need to know what steps you need to take to yeah, get to the stars. stars that's, so yeah. that's yeah. what I'm looking at yeah. is, okay, so I know you want to make a change in the music industry. Okay, yeah. What do you plan to do stepwise to make that change? Well, see, I, I really do believe in um, taking it. I feel like I can open a bunch of... Uh, gateways through my music, so that's just the that's just the, that's just step one for me is to like you know what I'm saying take over the music industry and it's, and I, my goal with that with music is to potentially change the world. Of course, I don't want to change the game; I want to change the world. Mm. And, and like uh, through that, like I want me and her talk about it all the time, like to to um, helping the homeless people because I went through that. I, I spent a lot of time trying to catch up in life. So, so you were homeless once I've before? I've been through it. I've been through it more than once, man. Like mm. just not wanting to, not wanting to, feeling too good to ever go back and and and, and ask to start all the ask way help over. Or, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I would rather just uh, face it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it's like, and there were times. Don't get me wrong. It was times where I didn't have to be. Right, that's honest, most but then people. There were times where I, I was it's pretty pride. much forced to. It okay. Like, there's been times where I was forced to. Like, okay. Um, Did drugs play part in it? 
Uh, you know what I'm saying? Well, if, if it's weed, it's a drug. You know what I'm saying? It's just weed. Yeah, yeah. To her, she Jamaican. She's not gonna say. I wouldn't. I ain't been no she hustler. Not say, no, yeah. yeah, I wasn't no dope dealer or no shit like that. I, I had my. I took my part in the streets and stuff like that, but it didn't take me long to notice that that it wasn't. That, that, that's just not me. I know mm-hmm. how to hustle, but I'm not a hustler. You feel me? Yeah. Right. That's what, what what it was for me. But then on top of that, though, man, uh. I've been pushing this music thing for a long time, and you know, what I'm saying that's late, late nights, early mornings, and that that really don't fly everywhere when you just trying to when you when you trying to build a life by by living under somebody else's rules and stuff like that. You're trying to create a way of your own. So, I um, but back to what you were saying though about like um, what what, I, what exactly I want to do with music and and, and whatnot. So, I just want to take this and like investments, of course, like Bitcoin. Uh, actually, this is Pablo talking that I'm actually uh, okay. rep- representing right now. It's like a new, it's a new cryptocurrency, that, mm-hmm. and it's right now it's under uh, um, under a penny. So, wow. so if this shit goes big, you could be talking to a potential billionaire. Let's just uh, I'm, crossing, <laughs> I'm crossing my fingers, you know what I'm saying? But I really do believe in it or whatever. But yeah, man, I just want to, and I I'm not even done studying how the world is changing. Like when the, the more the world changes, the more I'm gonna want to use my music to affect this or affect that. I'm dabbing into this and dabbing into that. So, so yeah. when you when you when you uh, so you say you was locked up for a little bit? Yeah, yeah. How long did you stay locked up? Um, it was periodically, man. I spent like four straight years in and out of jail. The longest really? time I ever did was like six months, bro. Okay. And um, yeah, it was just. Was it in Texas? Yeah, it was in Texas. Okay. Man. Yeah. Did just, you you ever go out of Texas? Nah, hell no. Nah, Always know. Texas. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I don't really. It was like I told you. I spent a lot of time playing catch up down here. Yeah. Uh, when I started traveling and and just in 2020, I seen, I seen um, 30, 37 state, 37, 38 states in 2020 alone. Wow. And I never. And that's during really, a pandemic. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. And I didn't catch COVID. Didn't nothing. So wow. I thank what, God. Thank God. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that wow. was a blessing. But. So how did how did Blue Hearts come along? How did how did that happen? Uh, Blue Hearts was was actually um, a part of me in my new distribution deal with uh, Jerry Wanda and, and and his music and and Wyclef, of course. We um, they had a plan for me from seeing Bloody Mary with okay. with, with, with Trilly Millie and yeah. and uh, and Twan Visuals, and they saw that and they 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 are, they could. Feel the same thing you felt. Like you yeah. don't. It don't take a. No. It don't take a genius. I mean, mm-hmm. how did they genius. contact you? Um, I have an attorney, man. Uh, really? He's actually a sports agent. Uh, okay. Shout out Joaquin, man. He uh, he's 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 been on the CNN for years, and and um, he's actually from Texas. Uh, uh like out uh, towards uh, Easton and Lakeport area. Okay. And um, he he seen me when Bloody Mary started going viral. Uh, back in 2019, 2020, and asked me that I need an attorney, and and he knew some people who he felt like could he could introduce me to, and um, I met a guy named Quasi Sarah through him, who's been in the United Nations. Um, oh my God, he used to be uh, P Diddy's assistant. Okay. Um, wow. He's a just big names. I, mm-hmm. I met a lot of moguls in a short amount of time. Uh, he he knew Biggie personally, mm-hmm. and um, and uh, he introduced me to Jerry Wonder, and when Jerry Wonder heard the music uh, from that was on on YouTube at the time, uh, like was, of course it was Solitude, Summer Nights, uh, Bloody Mary, um, Camp Somewhere. Those records were on YouTube, and he saw them and he he loved every last one of them. And he said he he asked me a few questions about my life and where my direction was, and he said it didn't take him long to know. That he could work with me, and so and like that goes because you have a though. humble spirit, and so yeah, I, yeah, I love your spirit. I, I mean, love your spirit. I feel like that's the way. Speaking of Blue Hearts, that's the way we came in with that. Uh, shout out to Benny Wonder, he's a um, uh, uh, he's he's amazing man. He was actually an L one a while back, but Benny Wonder was the producer slash writer on this record. And uh, he gave me an idea about um, uh, like drowning out your sorrows with af- alcohol based on a on a relationship, and I like that, that's actually something I've been through in my life before. You know what I'm saying? Like alcohol played a big part in a lot of things I went through, and relationship wise, like hell, I would You've turn to the bottle. It. I would turn to the bottle to, to 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 take away from the pain of like mm-hmm. not having exactly what I wanted in a woman or something like that, and. And yeah, so we, me and me and Benny and Jerry, we we com- we collided on that record and and made a, a freaking hit, man. Uh, yeah, it's uh, dope. Yeah. What yeah. about who's that? Coca, Coca, Coca. Coca, Coca, Coca yeah. Of course, yes. I was getting her. She's a in my eyes, she's the upcoming queen of BK. You know what I'm saying? She's out of Brooklyn. She's from Brooklyn. Yeah, she's out of Brooklyn. And um, I 
it's wild because before how did you I, meet her that's what i'm saying it's wild before I, well before i ever met coco i was just going down uh jerry them pages and and all of their friends and stuff and i noticed her but i never knew she was si signed to jerry Wonder. okay and so i was liking her music and i showed her one day and i was like hey man uh, this chick right here, man, she don't sound like these new girls that's coming out rapping, man. She ain't saying nothing about nobody boyfriend. She ain't talking about no lace front, no heels, no pussy, no, no, no. She ain't saying nothing like that. She on some straight up from the streets. I'm getting it. This is me. Nice to meet you. Fuck you if you don't like me shit. And talking about the world and everything at the wow. same time. And um, man, you shout out to Coco. Yeah, yeah, I you picked, picked up, up on it. it. Then next thing you know, I'm sitting next to her at Jerry's house in Jersey. You know what I'm saying? And, and he came out and we just all talked and we we wanted to collab on that record. That was a breakout record for me and shit. Yeah, I wouldn't have picked another female to been on it anyway, bro. She so was dope. When, when can we go ahead? Because you had something you wanted to ask. No, I. W okay, this one is gonna because what I wanted to ask y'all already touched on that. <laughs> yeah, I felt <laughs> but, it. But um, <laughs> what I wanted to ask: how many in, being in Texas? How mm -hmm. many and you're a humble spirit, but how many people actually look on you and judge you because of how you look? Man. That's so many, so many, so many. But like a lot of my music, I've been really focusing on more of giving the kids something to dance to, giving them something to, 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 to you know, what I'm saying have good. That you ain't got to block out every word and, and and stuff like that. And a lot of the music that I put out now, if you buy my album, and they may not all be just rated G, mm -hmm. but um, I've been doing that for the kids, and it's like. Uh, it's like um, they look at me as when a kid sees me and they walk by me, they, they just stare at me like this, and I, yeah. I'll be like, I'll be like, man, I like it, I like it because I know that it, it's inspiring them to be who they want to be. You know, that's what I'm saying? That's dope. They, they love, I love it. to they think love outside it. the box. Yeah, man, I didn't ask. To, I didn't ask. No, actually, my it. hairstyle was on accident. Right. Oh, it. really? Yeah, bro. How like, did that? How did that happen? Okay, so I I first got dreads while I was oh, in. Oh, she's Cali. smiling over there when you said that. <laughs> I first got dreads while I was in Cali, man. I, uh, I wanted to go dreads, and you know, um, and when I did it, I just wanted to put them off in ponytails one day, and I accidentally yeah. left one tied up for too long, and then when I took it off. All of them had just combined, and I was like, "Okay, well, fuck it, I'll just do it with this one too." Then I just, and then the next thing I know, I was just trying it with them and see if it worked with all of them. And I was like, "Oh, they getting wicks and stuff," but damn, I just tied my hair up and it happened like this. But you know what I'm saying? I but it become it. a style now because yeah. a lot of people are wearing their yeah, dreads exactly, like that. Exactly, exactly. And it's so That's crazy. I know. They got a whole way to do it now. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, damn, I didn't even know that when I was doing this. You know, yeah. so I was just taking a shower and not taking my fucking hairbands. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing I know, they it was are, a whole style. Yeah, let, yeah, let, yeah. Let, me, let me ask you a little bit more about the music. So, mm -hmm. so you guys done great work together, you and Trilly. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, how hard was it adjusting to working with others after you had worked with him? Man, to be honest with you, I still haven't adjusted to it yet. Yeah. Um, me and Millie got me and, and see, I know him by Millie. Millie, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I, yeah, I know him by Trilly, Trilly and my yeah. bro. Was so it like, Trilly Millie or something? I mean, it's been a lot of different names. <laughs> it's still my nigga though. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, yeah. But like, um, I just thought that because you worked yeah, with him so long. Yeah, yeah. And so it was like. Me and him got a chemistry. We had a rapport. Like, like I said, like I told, uh, like I told Trill Talk, it was, it was a whole lot more so of a um, brother thing, with me and him rather than a, um, rather than a business partner thing. And so, like trying to find another brother in the music industry may be mm -hmm. hard. You know what I'm saying? Finding that that chemistry, that rapport in the music industry, that may be hard. But so, I mean, I have found other uh, guys that that can that can adapt to music. The same way and have the ear for music that, that mm -hmm. truly does, but yeah, you know what I'm saying. Just having that same chemistry with somebody else is almost irreplaceable, you know. Yeah, the reason I asked is because I know you you had to do this last the, this song, you know, with somebody else. Yeah, exactly. And, and why not be Y Cliff, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Y Cliff. Y Cliff is one of the when I seen him on that video, yeah, yeah. I say it's over, man. Yeah. Like you know, because he he bring that whole feel like yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a wrap. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. I don't know who this who this dude uh, is, but uh, <laughs> I can tell you right now, it's a problem. Yeah, and yeah. Y Cliff picked the guitar up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was like, I was, I was still. How like, did that happen? How did he get on that? Like, what made him just get on that song? Okay, and what it was and like actually the, meeting him for the first time. Okay, now, like now see that that was actually the first time that Wycliffe and Jerry Wonder uh, have ever co collaborated on a video. You know what I'm saying on a music video. So I felt I was a part of history. Wow, with those guys and it like to this day it's still surreal to me. 
And um and um like it happened because you know Jerry Wonder the booger basement and all of that from the Fugees. Mm-hmm. Jerry Wonder was the play. He was the reason why the Fugees like you know and Wycliffe Cliff and Prize and yeah and and then Lauren, Lauren. Right? they were all one for so long twenty five years into the mm-hmm. game and that's 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 just that's that's moguls that's legendary and so it wasn't nothing but a phone call for Jerry to say hey I got this guy right here and they had me on three way one day and Wycliffe Cliff was like he get on there and he was like yo what up Camp and I'm like. What up, Cliff? <laughs> what up, Cliff? <laughs> you know, wow, so that's dope. I, I, he was like, he was like, he was like, what's up? I was like, yeah, well, what up? And he was like, I need to be on the drugs you on. That's what's up. Wow. <laughs> I was like, what? Well, he was like, bro, your music is crazy, man. I'm wow. Like, I vouch for you, bro. Your music is crazy, man. And, and then ever since then, it was like, shit. And how and long that, ago was that? Um, That was around, oh, man. I talked to Cliff probably like September. Of uh of last, last year. year, yeah, yeah, right. Like wow, six, six. it took us a while, man, to get to here. So yeah, it took us a while to get a video dropped and, uh, and a lot of that stuff. But it, it came about, man. It, I think it took like nine months actually to get it done because we had uh, winter storms coming through. Equipment yeah. got messed yeah. up, a lot of stuff. Was man. he in the studio with you and all that? When he wasn't in the or? studio with me, but he was on set with me and with the with the guitars and shit like that. And just I still remember like it was yesterday, standing in the middle of him and Jerry Wonder. Uh, on this, on that, on that stage and shit like that. It was wild, man. That's it's just a, it's a feeling that you can't really explain. Wow. You know, so like standing next to to, to greatness like that, to yeah. history, to legend, yeah. legend like that. I feel like I fit right in with them, though, man. So did they just come where you was at and y'all did it, or were y'all hanging out and and then and then you did it, talked about it? What happened? Jerry Jerry flew me out to Jersey. Okay. Uh, uh, and I was out there for for probably like shit uh, about a month, man. And uh, went to the studio with him. I had the opportunity to record with Platinum Sound New York. Man. Okay. A lot of, lot Shout of, out lot. to Platinum Sound yeah, New York. Yeah, Platinum Sound, man. Shouts out. And uh, met some great people out there, man. Met Arden and, uh, uh, man, I met Burley. I met Gerby. I could, the list goes on and on of a lot of people that was out there, man. But uh, it was like we, we, I was out there for about a month with Jerry and, 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 and just meeting the team and warming up with everything. And then I left and he flew me back out there to do the visual part. The first time I was out there, we were just recording. So mm-hmm. Cliff was never really just in the studio with right. us like that. And I really did probably like five or six records that nobody's just heard yet wow. with one the music so this is just a breakout yeah so you guys got you got to stay tuned man i got some surprises you on the tell way us that. but like yeah you know <laughs> we gonna stay tuned yeah yeah man so shit like uh, and i'm gonna give you my email so you can send you. me stuff got so you, i can listen you, to it like you. i do everybody else got you got you bro and um you know so when we went back out there to record the visual part of it, that's when uh, Cliff showed up and, and Cliff came around and I got to meet him and and, and, and we actually um, uh, uh, went head up like Rams a couple of times, man. I didn't know he was that strong either. But yeah, yeah like uh, we uh, we had a we had a we had a we had a blast out there, bro. We, yeah. We we kicked it at the uh, at Jerry's house and we actually filmed most of the scenes with me and Cliff. We filmed those in Jerry's basement. Okay, and then we turned the whole basement into a uh, into a dance floor. So yeah, it was fucking lovely, bro. It yeah, I'm I'm gonna tell you something, man. That's that's history, man. That's yeah, that's exactly. culture, exactly. man. That's exactly. everything that anybody in the music industry would want, man. Exactly. We talking about some icons. Yeah, we talking yeah. about uh, <laughs> listen, man. Beyonce will tell you the same thing. Yeah, and that's yeah, when you yeah. know you done done something <laughs> spectacular when Beyonce would agree with you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I can't. I, I, I'm really trying to understand that whole yeah. level. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like she would agree with you that yeah, this is yeah. something that's great. You know, and I yeah, know she would yeah. because of the simple fact of the road that she came down yeah, in order to get to be who she yeah, is. Yes, you know what yes, I'm saying? Yeah, this is knows, dope, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you should be proud of yourself, bro. Yeah, if you don't man. do nothing else, I always yeah. say if I don't sell another stitch, <laughs> if you don't sing another song, you know, yeah. you done something that really a lot of people will never do in their yeah, lives. Hey, so bro. you should be thanking God for that, bro. Yeah, I always and do, I can't man. wait to see the work that's <laughs> about to come out because I know <laughs> you're going to go hard because you're the future. Exactly. That's all. That's what I want. And I think they know that. You know what I mean? That's important. You know, because you things that's in you that they that you know when you're older, right? Mm. There's some things that that you could maybe do that I could never do because you're still traveling a road. That's the way the wide cliffs would feel. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? We're just so proud to be in in the midst of our youth, man. Like to see you guys come up and and to know the opportunities that was created through things that. 
he did. You know, yeah. he should be. He, I know he's loving it, bro. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, the sir. fruits of his labor labor is not in vain. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. exactly. <laughs> it's not in vain. That, man. It's not in vain. Yeah. And that's the whole game, man. I think that's definitely important, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to be able to see that, mm -hmm. it's dope. Yeah, yeah. I, witnessing it firsthand is even is even more spectacular, bro. You know wow. What I'm I, and then, 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 like me, I'm so. I was I, I always demanded perfection of myself, so like so like you know, I'm always looking for a follow up to everything. It's like okay, I've, I've met I've met two of the moguls now. How, what do I do from here? Like what's next? I gotta I gotta keep on pushing. Like I said, reach for the stars. So if you fall, you land on the clouds. So now I, I don't want to stop and get like hey look at look what I've done. That like when you were saying be proud of it. I, I always remember my accomplishments, but I never really just. Stop to like focus on them, you know what I'm saying? To well, look I, at where I've been. Hey, I don't, I don't just, know why. It's just you like have a, to enjoy the moment. Yeah, right? exactly. I mean, you know, you and have to savor the moment. The time, you have to yeah. savor the moment. Yeah, yeah, you have to you have to embrace it because it's yeah. something that's extraordinary. Yeah, it, it's something that that like I said, certain people never do. You exactly. know what I mean? And yeah. thank God for it. Exactly. Oh yeah, man. Yeah. So you you but you're dope, and I know big things coming. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I ain't tripping. I I'm waiting on it. You know what I'm saying? And you have to stay humble during everything. Yeah. We've met some. Don't ever let the fame get to you. That yeah. fame monster. That's why I try not to even think about think about it, man. I don't even. How was it? Okay, did you ever go anywhere with Wycliffe and 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 what was the other one? Uh, Jerry. Jerry. Did y'all ever go places together? Uh, I went, I went, I've been a couple of places with Jerry, man, and uh, we we went, we had a good times and stuff. I like mean, that. I said we it because you you get them looks and you get those, you know, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. somebody might what, approach you. Yeah, you know what, what we happen? What we what we. What we gonna do? We haven't really got to that part yet, cause I'm I'm still not even a year into my into yeah. my into my contract with them. You know what I'm saying? So and it's, and it's like we got. It's, I know for a fact they got a lot of big plans and stuff like that. So where we're gonna be, we haven't even seen a, 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 a fraction of it. Just yeah. Yet. What we're gonna do, we I, I, we haven't seen a fraction. How did of you it feel yet. when you first seen that video on BT? I. Oh, hey man, I, I hate to say it, but I gotta quote another Kanye lyric, man. But it was like, remember when they ain't believe in me? And they like, see, that's my cousin on TV. And I, I, man, me, we woke up, we woke up at like three in the morning, bro, to set the alarm clock for BET. Wow. So because you knew it was coming yeah, out. Yeah, and it was it was at different times, and we had missed every time, you know what I'm saying? And then it's on the website, and it was like, damn. And it's like I, I'm getting chill when I'm thinking about it right wow. now. You know, what I'm saying? you should, like, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. When we first got on TV, it it, it wasn't on BET. <laughs> it was on the CW, CW network. network. And I, you know, I was happy about it. Yeah, yeah. let me let me pop my. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I seen it. This was about what a month ago. Mm -hmm. And I said, yeah, uh, man, with me and KLC, it was a yeah. uh, uh, clout that put us on first, mm -hmm. and they had Boss Talk on there. Okay, we was it, they put us on, and mm -hmm. and I was waiting on it just like you, man. Baby. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, and, it, and we popped up and, and we had a Beast by the Pound KLC and <laughs> we were talking and all of us got our cameo so it was yeah, great man. Yeah, man and then then we get a call from Breakfast Brothers mm -hmm. and he say man I'm gonna put the last eight minutes of of boss talk on my TV program because he Ooh. was on this yeah, yeah because he yeah, was, I was also on here when you heard that, I was like yeah. wow I was we was asleep we was actually asleep I was like <laughs> we, I woke up I was like yeah. I was like yeah he was like yeah I said yeah man go on and do it man I said that's great man I you know just thanking God for these brothers that yeah. seen this mm -hmm. show and was so like this is dope and yeah. we want to see your yeah. form your your platform yeah. flourish you know it yeah, was great yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man I mean we didn't hit as many cities as you on BT but yeah we <laughs> we in the building. We, we hit hey, the man. southern states hey, we man. was in Mississippi Alabama we was in Atlanta <laughs> and it's just the beginning for man I thank God for it man you know but I but but let's uh let me get that top three artists of all time that are dead alive, alive. You any know, genre we do that on here top <laughs> three top three artists <laughs> number one I do that man hey look. number one Number one, I gotta go with J. Cole, man. J. Cole? Yeah. Oh man. I give it to J. Cole, man. It's, wow. I'm not gonna I'm gonna be no, saying no, that like for it. a long like time, man. I like it. I, I like J. Cole, man. He's man. He, he's conscious. I ain't seen him stop yet. I ain't seen like it's, 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 and I'm looking at the evolution from where he was to where he is now. Yeah, yeah, from the warm up. So you think up. that was Jay working with him too? Um for, what, what, what I don't see any of I don't really I don't know. I I think J. Cole I'm doing Jay Z. I'm thinking Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think I know they, what you're saying. Yeah. I'm thinking like 
He had his own way of doing things. Exactly. I, I okay. don't think Jay Jay Z had to be so had Jay didn't touch it. I don't think he had to have as much of hands on with Jay Cole as as Jay Z might have had to have with with Meg or somebody else. Yeah, or something, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I I think that he uh I really do think Jay Jay Jay, Jay Cole stood his own with with a lot of his recent stuff. Number two, um, number two, uh, this going it's going it's going kind of like it's going kind of any genre but, too. Any genre. Mm hmm. Well, sure. I got to give it to Michael Jackson then. Wow. Because, okay. yeah, yeah. When you say any Money genre. Money Mike. Yeah. When you say. When we you had say, a guy on it is, yeah. from Longview said that Chris Brown was better than Michael Jackson. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 and what? Shout what? out to Al D. So, so, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm talking about? I don't know. I don't know about that one. <laughs> I don't know about that one, man. And I number, think Chris no, Brown still you, got some work to do. He he cold. He on his way to being Michael Jackson. Number three, uh, man, number three. That's, that's a hard spot to feel, bro. But but uh, I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it will be a tie, bro. Nah, I don't no, do ties. We don't do ties. Yeah, we don't we do got ties. Got, all right, I gotta give it to Say, Nas then. Man. Nas? Yeah, I gotta give it to Nas. I like that, man. I gotta give it to Nas. 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 Oh, oh man. Nas man, hey, yeah. Ethan, that's to yeah. make your soul burn yeah, slow, yeah, nigga. Yeah. Stop <laughs> playing. <laughs> You gotta really listen that to nigga this said music, boss man. talk in this song too. I know you got it from us, so don't play me. I came out boss talk, nigga, and you said it, and I heard it the last time you yeah, was on the mic, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Nah, but I love, I love Nas, and and like I said, man, I, Jay is a business man. You got to give it up to him. Yeah. But when it, when it, when it come down to music, my top three, I'm going with Pimp C every time. Yeah. That just yeah, means yeah, I'm yeah. a southern boy southern that guy. came yeah, from yeah, this yeah. man, and yeah. I, I, it was a different time. We didn't have the internet like you guys did yeah, when yeah, I came yeah, up. Yeah. We had a cassette tape. Yeah. And a record, a forty five. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, we 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 didn't have we couldn't get around like everybody else. Yeah. But that tell me something good came on and it was something different. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> it hit different. Yeah, exactly. I'm I I love your voice so much that I want I want you to give me a little bit more. Oh, something. you want to say something else? You <laughs> yes, love messing with me. Yes, I love what, your what, voice. what you want to hear? Hell I might sing with him. Uh, Let's please. go. Uh, I got I got a bunch of different stuff I've been working on. Uh, Just sure. give me something. Uh, uh, let me see. Let me see. Um, let me see if you can make me cry. No, no, this oh, you, you ain't gonna cry. <laughs> let me see, uh, you ain't gonna do no crying like, today. Like, I never thought I'd see the day a nigga heart got colder and not a chance I'm taking to protect my soldiers. I heard your boy was telling like I talked. I told ya, pull a nigga card and call it Texas Autumn. How you gonna try not to check on it? Fuck around, put a check on it. How you gonna try not to check on it? Nigga, put some respect on it. Uh, 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 it's just, it's just, I just be messing with, messing around with shit. Man, man. I, I, like, I love the way you just um, go in, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See, I, I, I had, I was wanting to do a, a record one time, but I know it would be real controversial as far as, as far as religion goes. But, uh, but it's like, uh, it was like using a, a song about a female. But uh, the way I was saying it, you know what I'm saying, is like kind of basing it off of a, a prayer or whatever. And so like, don't ever feel like you can't. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's your words because yeah, that's yeah. the same thing. When you said yeah. that, the first thing came to my mind was Ray Charles. Ray Charles. Yeah. 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 So I told you I looked up those guys. I researched those because guys before. those guys came yeah. to, into a situation yeah. where their music and their sound was challenging mm -hmm. the ways that things were right. naturally done right. in the churches. And he still did it, and he did well with it. And he and he caused R and B to come on the scene. See, see, that's all. With that being said, I got to hit. With a snippet of it because it's called Christian Girl, right? Okay. So it goes like this: It goes like, uh, <clears throat> "Our Father, we chart on earth. Ooh, ooh, hello, be the sweet Christian girl. Yeah, somewhere south side of Natchitoches, a pastor baptized the baddest bitch. Yeah, she eat the body and she sip that blood. Ooh, ooh, apostle destined to get that thug." Yeah. She hit her knees and then hit my weed. Ooh, ooh. She blow the gospel and then blow me. <laughs> she anywhere but like any time. But any time is the perfect time. Her mama teach and her daddy preach. Her sister sing all the churches rounds. We hit it off when I said a prayer. This Mr. Church and she liked it. The holy bread got her in my bed. She a righteous chick, but this girl is bad. Hey. I never thought that no Christian girl would throw it back. Oh, no, y'all. No, nah, listen, man. <laughs> I, I just want to say, you know, you say, well, you know, uh, it, it's a prayer. 
and, yeah. and and then it's a it, it's a prayer, but then it's a song that's mixed with R and B, and then you know, but it's a it's some stuff about this. But what you're expressing is is really life. Yeah, it really is. It really is life. It's really yeah. truth. <laughs> like like this is the things that's happening. Yeah, it's not yeah. like you just. I mean, yeah, you're you're articulating it in yeah. a way to where it yeah. comes to fruition. Yeah, but at yeah. the end of the day. This is what's happening. Yeah, you're right. Now, you're now right. as people evolve and go through things and change and transform into different parts of uh, of being a better human being, mm -hmm. uh, this is a part of evolution. Exactly. So, so I I don't see why someone would yeah. be offended by it if yeah. they wouldn't judge people because at the end of the day, when you start judging, you're gonna find fault not only in everyone else but yeah. yourself also. Exactly. Yeah, you, you see right. what I'm saying? Right. So these are these are times where you're seeing a person evolve and you trying to articulate how they evolve and, and the only one does that is the antagonist, which is the devil. Oh yeah. Oh y'all ain't really I like how you see, that <laughs> But you see people look at right. I like how you said that right there. You know, that's that's the truth. But you yeah. see people look yeah. at stuff like that and say, because you know how they always say the good suffer for the bad. Mm hmm so some people will take it personally like well i'm a christian girl i'm a i'm a preacher's daughter i'm a this and that. i did good but i don't do that that's you right. know what i mean yeah. so that's why they always say the good stuff for the bad because they're looking at it like no yeah i don't do that don't do but that. then it was a time when you went through something that, and you do do something yeah right so, so, so yeah something. yeah but you, you just don't do that, that. Right, but you do yeah. something you do something you yeah. see what i'm saying <laughs> yeah. now, now, now 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 let's move on because <laughs> You doing whatever you were just singing about, yeah. but you doing something, yeah. mm -hmm. and that's why the problem lies with people yeah. that gets too religious and self righteous yeah. because they start putting heavy weights on people that they can't even carry. Exactly, exactly. and that's a problem. That is, <laughs> Still. you see what I'm saying? Still. So we can't we can't get caught up in that. We have to evolve as a as a as a human race. Yeah. all of us yeah. together. And, and while one is hurting, we don't get so judgmental that we excommunicate them or counsel them out mm -hmm. while God is working with them. Agreed. Mm -hmm. So that's Agreed. the that's the biggest problem yeah. I see with religion is that so many people become self righteous yes. to a to a fault. Oh yeah. To a fault. <laughs> yeah, like to where they just basically like blocking it. everybody yeah. out and saying, We going and they not. Exactly. All hundred and forty four thousand of us. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So we yeah. gotta get off of that. Yeah. Because that's not that's that. not that's that's yeah. not real. Yeah. We gotta try to meet people where they're at yeah. and love people until they come out of their situation. Mm -hmm. Because we might have been there already and we already came out. Don't look down on somebody just because they coming through. Facts. That, let me get off of it, man, because I go in. That's yeah, what I do, man. There, man. <laughs> I, I was going to start bringing in the choir, man. No, it's just real, real talk. You know what I'm real, saying? It's yeah, just real, yeah, real it's talk, real, man. Real boss talk, man. Yeah, real yeah. boss talk. Yeah. So what, what, when boss talk come to mind, right, yeah. mm -hmm. what what do you think of? When when you when, when you heard the name boss talk, what was your first? I was thinking of, like, basically kind of like what we're doing right now. Like <laughs> I think it's like a round table. You know what I'm saying? With some wine and, and some bosses that's speaking on something that could change that they circumstances and somebody else's. That's dope. You feel yeah. And that's what we use our platform for because each and every one of us go through situations. Yeah. And we're not the only ones who go through these situations. So with it being on YouTube, Apple, Spotify, and every streaming platform, mm -hmm. you don't know who's listening listening that going through the same situation. Yeah, exactly. And for the main fact that you overcame certain things and they hear it, they're like, mm. okay. Because some people don't get over certain situations. Certain people decide to take their lives over certain situations mm. when others move on and excel. Yeah. If they, at that time, I've heard somebody going through what they're going through, they might not have chosen to mm. do that. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. So we use our platform to help people, really. Exactly, man. It's, it's highly appreciated. We've we seen uh, Seco P, he left here <laughs> from doing his first interview to going on Gen with a genius, mm -hmm. you know, and, and going mm -hmm. from 4 million uh, uh, YouTube views to, to 10. 10 million, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, um, we've seen that, that. you know what I mean? Yeah, we're yeah. very we proud seen of that. him. We're proud of him. We're glad we got the chance that. to, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I've been saying this song been growing on me for the past four, five days, man. Oh, yeah? I find myself just singing it. Like, man. Shout out to man. Yeah. Let me tell you, his Link personality, up, like, I fall in love with people's personality. Yeah. If you're a good person, yeah. I'm like, I will vouch for you. I'm like, oh, for yeah, sure. he gonna get there. He gonna do well. Yeah, man. Or she gonna do well. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah I thank God for you, brother, and thank yeah. you. Um, how can thank people you. get a hold of you or see you if they're looking for you, your music? Mm -hmm. how, how do they get a hold of you? Um, uh, I got a website, uh, www.callingallmypeople.com. That's really what camp like stands for. Okay. I was Just wondering. Calling all my people. I love man, that. Real, That's dope. Real. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? If you, you can't say you want to change the world, then you ain't gotta, I gotta call out my people. You mm. know what yeah. I'm saying? Really. Yeah. And, um, you know, of course, on, on Instagram, you got c.a.m.p yeah. underscore underscore. And, and that's, and it's actually camp c.a.m.p on every, on everything, everything. Spotify, wow. Apple Music, all platforms. Wow. You know? yeah. So if and you, Twitter, by the way. Wow. Yeah. I'm on Twitter too. Yeah. yeah Unique just underscore getting, fashion. How about yeah. TikTok? Doo -doo. Oh, yeah. I'm the same thing on TikTok. Yeah. 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 TikTok. I, I, I haven't tapped all the way into my tip, TikTok abilities, but I think the last one for Blue Hearts was pretty dope. Wow. And okay. I've been doing this cooking stuff. I've tapped into my culinary arts. Camp. Hey. You can so, do it. Hey, look, I've been winging it, but it's been coming out. Coming really together. Good, but I promise, <laughs> I've just been looking it up. And, Doing it, you know what I'm saying? For real. Looking it up mm -hmm. and executing, man. I've been I mean, I made a banana pudding, bro. Southern banana pudding. Stop man. playing. Stop oh, hey, look. oh, he Stop let me playing. tell you. Look, let I'm me tell you this, man. About some what of the I do, man. Doing I'm scratch. making one tonight, nigga. <laughs> Stop <laughs> playing, man. I gotta scratch. do it for my son. Man, he eat it, so. he love it. Man, That's bro, all he for eat. Real. Banana pudding and, and He'll vanilla sit down ice cream. My son eat the whole thing by himself. Yeah, you put the egg yolks and all that in there. All of that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We going in the milk. Yeah, yeah, all that. And that was my first butter. Time cooking, yeah, I'm, yeah. We I'm, get to it in, right. nigga. Yeah. We are not buying no instant pudding. For real, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. No way. I can't think about Check it. Like it that, man. I need the real deal. Man, man. We, see, once you go that way, it's hard to go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. if you could go back and um, ask your younger self, mm -hmm. or even not ask your younger self, but actually advise your younger self, as mm -hmm. in what it is that he's about to start facing. Mm -hmm. I want to say younger self, maybe. 14, 15, mm -hmm. to tell him what, how could you advise him to prepare himself for what he's about to, what face. He's about to face? Um, I think I, uh, I think I held back a lot. You know what I'm saying? I think I was a uh, fear. I would, I, I, you could say fear, you could say fear, but it was more so just like, um, I, I really got a, a problem with overthinking. Like it's almost like a sickness in my life, bro. Yeah. Like overthinking things, uh, to the point to where I, I'm afraid to make any decision. Because you're too romantic. That's yeah. what it is. <laughs> For real. Yeah, yeah, like, because yeah. you're scared like, of making the wrong decision. Yeah. And then see what, when one day I just like, I just thought to, um, I was thinking, man, you never really know if you can fly until you get in the air. You know what I'm saying? I was like, just jump off a cliff, my nigga, and see if you can flap your wings mm -hmm. and stay afloat. And that's kind of what I did when I when I went to California and I was linking up with Nick Cannon and stuff like that. We didn't even kinda, talk about that. I saw uh, that yeah, picture yeah, and yeah, that was, yeah, that man, was so cool. I was Nick. You know, Nick, Nick shout out to man. Nick. I, I think I <laughs> yeah. got your number, nigga, because yeah. Kevin Hart gave <laughs> yeah. it to me, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I will call you, nigga. <laughs> yeah, Kevin, yeah, thank you, yeah, Kevin Hart. Nick, nigga. Shout but shout yeah, yeah, yeah. So how did you, you was on Wild and Out? No, I wasn't on Wild and Out. What was you doing with Nick? I was on Power 106, New Music Mondays. I competed against Summer Walker, man. Shout out Summer Walker as well. Okay. Uh, That's dope. Me and her was representing out there, man. So you, you, I mean, you and Nick, that did you keep his number? You, yeah, yeah, I kept his number. So you and him might rock back out. Yeah, man. Look, I, I'm waiting on Nick. Got his own thing going. But I know we go. We gonna link back up. Already, man. Yeah. That's yeah, dope, yeah, man. You just a dope dude, man. Yeah. And Longview, man, the only two that's done really just came off like that uh, to be able to say I've excelled is him and. Uh, uh, Forrest Whitaker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shout out Forrest. to Forrest Whitaker. Yeah, man. Texas, shout man. out Forrest, It's man. going down, yeah. man. And Matthew and, McConaughey. And I'm going to be yes. Matthew yeah. McConaughey. Yes, you can. He's leave him out. And Al-D. <laughs> yeah, nigga, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my nigga, man. Yeah, yeah. Al-D is He's a rapper. I love the way he rap, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He man. tells stories, man. Man, like he does, man. Man, y'all got talent down there, bro. Them top 10, boy. Hey, hey, look out, man. Whoever, your boy, y'all heard your Trill Talk, No Peel Talk. He got D-10 stepping up. Yeah, I might put it together. I don't hey, know. Bro, hey, look, we ready. I'm telling you, we ready, bro. <laughs> look, bro, we ready, bro. We already know. Say, man, you guys better go check out Man Camp. He's dope, bro. And I'm telling you, you gonna be like, wow, this dude is His kicking it is. with Wide yeah. Cliff, man. The Fugees, eh? he bringing people back yeah. together, man. Yeah. I don't know what's up with this, man. <laughs> and man, I'm gonna rock out with this for a minute, man. East Texas in the building, man. Holla at your boy, man. Yeah, know. man, we love you, brother. I really it's Likewise, a unique man. hustle, man. Family. Say, man, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And we out.